Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a vegetable chicken pot pie. And um, you'll start out by making a crust. Now you can either make one or Pillsbury um, makes them. And, um, or you could buy it, whatever, whichever way you want to go. So I'm trying to get my thickening here going. Uh, I've got a, oh, right out a pint of chicken broth in my pan. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of um, salt-free chicken um, seasoning in there. Then, of course, I'm putting garlic in. Uh, you can put it in or you don't have to. We love garlic, so I add it to everything. Um, and then a little pepper. Now, uh, maybe a little dash of salt, not much. Okay. Then we're just going to stir that up and let it get nice and thick for the thickening. Too thick you can always add we like this meal it's um it's good for you too you've got your all your vegetables in it and um, which makes it nice now I've got about a cup of carrots I've already cut up and I've got a little less than a pint of green beans. Um, I've got some celery. i got corn. Um, I took the corn out of my freezer. Everything came out of my freezer, actually. So this is something you can take from your freezer if you have it or your pantry. And if you don't can, you can always take and uh, buy a bag of mixed vegetables um, and that'll do just about the same thing I just have it all so I use my own so anyway and then uh, I'm preheating my oven to 425 I'm going to bake it at 425 for 15 minutes. That's just because of the um, crust. Then I'm going to back it off, turn it down to about 375, and I'm going to leave it there for um, right at an hour. No, maybe not an hour. About 35, 45 minutes because I've already baked it for 15. Now, My son's at work today, and I talked to him earlier, and he was doing what he does best, giving the girls a hard time. His crew down there are so sweet. All the ladies are just as nice as they can be. Uh, Brianna, oh my goodness, what a sweetie. So I'll say hi to Brianna, and hi to all of them. He works with a, a bunch of good people. I have three potatoes peeled, but I think I'm only going to use two. You get all your vegetables and your pie crust starts looking a little bit small. We're going to see what we have here. Yeah, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to lay it over there. <clears throat> Greg was home at Christmas time, and one of the girls, or two of them, I'm not sure which, 
Anyway, they said they were going to come up next year for Christmas to my house. And I'm going to hold them to that. That would be wonderful. And then you're going to use um, probably one of those small cans of chicken or um, that. Or you can use um, turkey. I'm using turkey because I canned my turkey this year. They had such a good buy on it, so I just bought it and canned it. So we're going to be having turkey in ours. Mm, good, delicious. Okay. And I don't know if I'll put quite a pint in there. And if I don't, after the bite that I just took out, I'll probably end up eating it on crackers. That is really, really good. Okay. I'm going to see if that's enough. I'm going to want to cut it up some. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to have my pie crust isn't going to be big enough for all of this. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put part of my mix in my pie crust and then I will save the rest to make another one. I've got this nice and thick and I'm going to start out by adding my turkey in it. And then I'm going to add my corn and my carrots. tablespoons of celery and then a cup of peas. Oh, I can smell that garlic in there. Mmm, yummy. Oh, and then I'm going to add my potatoes. going to do is I'm just going to take my broth, find my I'm going to take my other half of my pork, so I've got another pint of broth there, and I am just going to mix that together. stove for a couple minutes and let that cornstarch and broth come together and like I said I've got my oven preheating to 425 and um, let's put it in there for 15 minutes at 425 oh look at all those yummy vegetables mmm
Yep, like I said, I made enough for two pies. It's hard to put all those vegetables in it. And um, unless you have a real deep pie pan. And I sent pies home with family at Christmas time. So some of my pie pans aren't here. So, okay, now we've got it in the crust. <clears throat> and that there, what I'll do is I'll just put that in a dish and I will save it. Um, I think I rolled it out too flat, too wide. What I'll do is I'll put that in a dish and save it for later, and then I'll make another one later. You might have a large family and need two of them, and if you do, that would be great to do both of them right at the same time, but it's just my husband and I. We don't need but one. Okay. And then I'm going to try to pinch my crust together. And then I'm going to take and brush some egg white on that so that it bakes a little better. It just makes your pie crust a little shinier and air holes in it. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven and um, I'll turn it down after 15 minutes and then I'll bring you all back as soon as it's ready to come out of the oven. That smells delicious. I can't really cut it because it's just too hot. But I have to have a taste out of it. I can hear it bubbling. That's how hot it is. Which it just came out of the oven, so. Mmm. Oh my. That's delicious. Okay. I'm not going to be able to cut it. Because I can still hear it bubbling. But anyway. That's going to make a wonderful supper. And um, I hope you'll try it. I'll have all the instructions posted down below, which it isn't that hard to do. Pie crust and some veggies, and it makes a wonderful meal. Now, like I said, I use turkey. You can use turkey or chicken. And if you want beef, you could use beef. Just use beef broth to make your thickening with instead of um, the chicken, of course. So, I hope you'll try it, and let us know how you like it. I'll be bringing you some more recipes real soon. Have a great week, and I thank you bunches. <laughs>